Well, as you can see, it's a very, very chilly day. So, um, today, for Cooking with Danny 5, I think we are going to be making something chilly, if you catch my drift. And to help me, we have special guest, oh my, Stephanie, who is visiting for the weekend. So, the first thing for chili we need to do is to pick a wine, so. Danny, it's only 11 o'clock. We don't need wine. Oh. oh, fine. Where is what? The frying pan. The meat's actually thawed this time. <laughs> What's black Angus ground chuck? Is that a black? black? Is it like a black cow? Like, with no white spots? White spots are dairy cows, Danny. I don't know what a black Angus is. Oh. Do you think there's maggots? Hope not. More protein if there are. Alright, I need a... A what? Wooden spoon. I don't have a wooden spoon. Yes. What? What do you use to brown meat with? Like, what do you use to chop it up? A fork? This thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you could... Oh my god. It will go faster if it's not all in one Do you want a regular fork? <laughs> that would be... Helpful. This was a gift for Christmas, this beautiful wooden cutting board. It's so pretty, I don't really use it. I just use these plastic ones, and that one's just for show. There you are, miss. Oh, it's sizzling. I like this, having like a helper here, because I don't have to do anything. No, no, Danny. You need to help, too. I'm not doing it all myself. What am I supposed to do? Chop up the vegetables? I guess I could do that. <laughs> How about I do that? I've seen the way you cut in your other videos. Alright, I can do this. Look at all this yummy grease. Ew. Oh, there's too much grease. So here's a tip for you guys. Whenever I work with anything with grease or anything with red sauce, anything that could stain you, I just choose not to wear a shirt. So that, that's how I roll. Do you want to participate, Stephanie? Sure. With no shirt cooking? Oh, no. <laughs> not going to happen, Danny. Sorry. I can wear my apron. Go get it. Here, as you can see, courtesy of Aunt Linda, my Christmas gift, cook, then work out with Danny. Speaking of which, I probably do need to. So, Danny, you took so long to get your apron that now the meat is completely done. Where are the vegetables? That was your job. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was busy browning the meat while you were getting your apron on, so uh, oh. it didn't get done yet. Yeah, yummy grease. I made potato chili once. And vegetarians are definitely missing out. That sounds gross. Alright, Stephanie, these vegetables aren't going to chop themselves. I'm going to chop up the tomatoes. Done. <laughs> nice work. You can get one of your new knives. Hasn't been washed yet. Oh yeah, they haven't been washed. I guess maybe you should use the old knives. Well, nice thought. Martha Stewart collection knives. But uh, they're not dishwasher safe, so I haven't used them yet because I'm too lazy to wash them. Yum, yum. Delicious. This chili's taking a while, huh? I need to use the chopper thing. Is this the slap chop? Yeah, just like push it down. Look. <laughs> and that there is how go. the chopper works. Is that gonna make you cry? Yes. I always make other people do this part. I wanna eat a piece. A raw piece of onion? Yeah. Alright. Instead of brushing my teeth, I just eat onion. <laughs> More chopping. I always get yellow onions because they're cheaper. <laughs> well, you broke it. I broke it. It just jammed. This definitely seems like a very good scenario for me. Stephanie's in the kitchen, and as of now, I haven't done anything. Can never have too much onion, right? <laughs> Danny, what are you doing? Kidney bean juice is gross. Do you want to drink it? Nope. Could put some alcohol in it, some vodka. <laughs> I'm sure that would make it taste much better. Now, what do we do? Just mix it up? Yep. Didn't know you're doing more than browning the meat in this pot. I'll get us a new one. There's a gigantic one back here. Do we need that? Get big that. One? And now, another gift from Aunt Linda. This is like some, like, pourer thing that you 
haven't used it. You put it on the pot and then... Oh, it's a slow go. It's the ju juice from the tomatoes. I think that's for liquids, Danny. All right, are we ready to add the spices? Danny, it's too thick. This is just clumps of meat and vegetables. Well, what are we missing? <laughs> tomato sauce? Oh, well, I don't have any. I have tomatoes, look. I have this tomato plant, we could take some off that, right? Couple buds, a couple tomatoes. Can we make fried green sauce? We'd get, like, a teaspoon of sauce, Danny. We can just go to the store. Let's All right, go. let's go. Uh, are you ready? Ready. All right. And we need one of these babies. Gotta reduce, reuse, recycle, bitches. What's the arugula? <laughs> I don't know. Why are they white? White asparagus. Racist. I thought, that. I thought that was black Angus, but it's not. That's so sad. Do you think we can free them? I don't think so. We don't have salt water in Wisconsin. Well, you could take them back to Michigan. Danny, we don't have it there either. It's good for you or something. Look oh what's God, next door. Oh wait, that's bad. They're not on sale. Let's go. We can make our own cheeses or something. Good idea. Can we do that? Yeah. Oh. I'm sure we can find a recipe somewhere. Buy me flowers. What are you going to do for me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Applesauce, chips. <laughs> are we forgetting something? We, <laughs> we came here for tomato sauce. Don't worry, Danny. Here you go. I got it. Why don't you get these? <laughs> when you were looking at the Cheez-Its. Oh, good thing I have you. <laughs> Where's that lady? Can I get a bag credit? Danny, you got two bag credits because you have such a big bag? Oh, that lady is nice. She likes you. I'll give her flowers. Thank you, Metro Market. You're just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Here we are, home again. This on. Good thing there wasn't a grease fire, Danny. That was your job to turn the stove off. Um, I'm in charge of browning the meat, chopping the vegetables. I can't do everything. Is that enough so, sauce, Danny, or do you want more? This is why. <laughs> this is why you don't you wear. Don't shirt when you have tomatoes. <laughs> Got that all fixed up. Just a little water. Got to add the McCormick seasoning packet. A little cheating. Where are we gonna put in cheese it's right? How about we make our own cheese it's? Alright, taste mm. tester. Uh -huh. Tastes like tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Alright, we need some more seasoning <laughs> then. Mm. Ooh, there's a different color. Let our chili simmer there for a bit, and now we are going to make homemade cheese it's with this recipe that I received courtesy of my great uncle Jim down in Florida. All we need is some cheddar cheese, some butter, some uh, mm -hmm. cheese grater, some flour. and flour. Do you think that's mold? Whatever. You don't have time for that. Um, I think this is way more than a cup. Oh well. Even better. We have to put it in the food processor. Um, don't have that. Oh, I do have this thing that David let me borrow. Fancy uh, little contraption. It's a hand cup. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if we can get the mixer part in. I hope David doesn't see this. But you, it has like, all right, ready to we go. We got it, I gotta put this on. <laughs> now we can't <laughs> twist it, right? So oh. let me get the recipe. So it says process or pulse all the ingredients together <laughs> until pulse. it forms a ball about two minutes. Uh oh, we're <laughs> losing. coming out the hole. After one minute, <laughs> they, not so promising. I think we should have uh, softened the butter. How's that bone coming? <laughs> Slowly but surely. We can have more than one ball. All right. I think I should have washed my hands. You can never have too much cheese. You live in Wisconsin, do you? The land of the cheese. I just don't think it's gonna roll out. It may not. Here we go. <laughs> JK. Rowling. 
since I don't have a rolling pin, I'm going to go back to the trusty old wine bottle. Some nice Chardonnay here. How big do you think you make a cheese it? You're the expert cheese it expert. <laughs> Non existent cheese. That could be yours. Look at my awesome shoes. Uh, uh oh. Curvy cheese it. That's the intoxicated one. We have our lovely <laughs> cheese it. Seems like a bad idea. We're going to transfer to the parchment paper lined bacon sheet. I think you're just supposed to put one hole in the middle. Get the big thing, the meat stick. Is it washed? No, but just, they're gonna bake it. The meat stick. They look just like the regular ones without the little fringy edges. Well, you could take a fork and do that. Unnecessary. Some of them we got fork, but um, Stephanie doesn't want to finish because she's lazy. Let's go in the oven for 8 to 12 minutes. Wait, it's not preheated? No. For mine, we just have to change it to 350. Alright, the oven's finally pretty good. So, Jesus. <sighs> Tough morning. Indeed. Get a chance to use another Christmas gift from Aunt Andy and Uncle Bill. It's like a mitten for Michigan. Are they lightly browned? The special ones are lightly browned. See, we should have forked all of them. <laughs> oh, these are hot. Oh. How are those cheesets? Mm. They're really cheesy. <laughs> Looks like we're ready. All right, it's Danny and Stephanie. This is another Cooking with Danny. Now remember... <laughs> mm. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, make sure you watch Workout with Danny also when you're feeling a little bloated.